So today we're back here at the witch's hut and we are going to build a field of mushrooms around it of all sorts of colors. Um, and by a field or forest of mushrooms, I mean there might be like five or six. It's a building exercise and it's going to look cute. I'm really excited for this one. I love mushrooms just as a person and I... I'm really excited to see how the build comes out. So for our build today, there are a couple of things that we need to consider. One is our mushroom stems, and the other is the caps. Um, the mushroom stems, like mushroom stems are generally white or some variation of a light brown. My dog is very sweetly licking my hand that's controlling my mouse. So that's exciting. If there's any weird movements, that's what that is. Um, for the caps, there are a couple things we need to consider. One, we're going to use lots of bright colors. It's going to be a very like fantasy mushroom type setup. But also, is the color on the underside of the cap? Or is it on the top side of the cap? And we'll probably have a bit of both. So for our stems, what I've picked out are white terracotta, bone blocks, mushroom stems themselves, and maybe some calcite. Though that's something that's more over the top of a cap rather than on a stem. For our colors, we'll use different variations of colored blocks. So concrete, wool, um, I am thinking of doing one with actual like mushroom blocks, and also probably terracotta. But this is a, gonna be a very widely varied palette, so we will see how it develops. definitely a lovely setting for a witch's hut. I am so obsessed with these mushrooms and it was a much faster build than I was even anticipating. I just absolutely love this mushroom and the gradient and the twisty top and it's so very cute and fantastical. And then we've got our much more flat Amanita style mushroom here. I love the balance of the colors and the shapes ended up pretty organic even though I was just using blocks. One thing I realized is that I had to like kind of shape the the bottom edges a little bit in order for them to not look completely flat and inorganic. Um, it was really kind of losing that feel. So like with this one, I dripped the edges down just with like the main, the main color at the bottom there. Where this one, I put some frog lights on the bottom. Um, you'll notice with all of them, I put lighting somewhere inside in the bottom as kind of the, the underside of the mushroom. Even like this one has the sea lanterns. Um, but like with this Ammonita, I dropped half of it down by just a block in order to keep that depth, that organic depth to it. This one is very, very flat. It's a little umbrella mushroom and it's very cute. 
and I think these frame the house really well and they just give it a really awesome setting. So thank you for coming along today and I hope you find some inspiration from these mushrooms. This was just so much fun. The build that I've been working on in the server that I'm playing on is a mushroom house with an amethyst underside um, and you may have seen it in the video where I announced this building challenge series. Um, it's come a ways. I've been working on it as well as this series. And I might show a clip of that in my wrap up in just a few days. We are so close to being done. And I hope that you will join me for the rest of this challenge. I'll see you for tomorrow's build. Bye.